Hey guys, I'm here today to talk to you about Vortex's latest rifle scope, the Strike Eagle 1 to 6 by 24 millimeter. You know, the scope that's been driving everybody crazy. Let's take a closer look at it. Now, obviously, it's not the only 1 to 6 on the market, and I'm not going to sit here and try and tell you that it's better than other scopes like the Razor HD 1 to 6 from Vortex or any of the loophole stuff or uh, uh, Collis for that matter. But what you're getting is basically a low $300 street price scope that's 1 to 6. Uh, magnification and 11 brightness settings something you can even see during bright daylight now like I said you have 11 brightness settings on here unfortunately you don't have the same thing like the Razer uh, 1 to 6 where you have the, the shutoffs in between the settings so for this one you know obviously if you're gonna turn it off you leave it at zero and you have to slowly scroll up through the power levels or you can just start and flip the other way so you're at zero you can flip to 11 be at the brightest setting the nice thing about this though is that they're all tactile clicks, so you know whether or not the power's engaged or not just by turning it and feeling it lock into position. And you have this nice knurling here, so no matter how sweaty your, your fingertips get, you have a good purchase on the knob. Now moving on to the turrets, they are capped, which is a huge plus considering this is aimed at the three gun market. You know, the last thing you wanna do is throw your gun into a barrel and knock off your zero. Not a good day. Uh, the adjustments are audible, you can hear them, clear as day. They're semi-tactile. You have one half MOA adjustments on the elevation and the windage with a total range of 140 MOA uh, on the windage and the elevation, so that's nice. Now the one thing that I like is the 3.5 inches of eye relief. That way I can mount the scope up farther and I'm not eating on the charging handle. Get a nice good cheek weld like that and I'm, you can see everything clear as day. Plus the really nice thing too is the fast focus eyepiece right here. You can, get, you can get your reticle quickly in focus if you bump it off or something like that. Now let's take a look at the one thing that everybody's probably gonna wanna hear about, the reticle. As you can see, there's no center dot, which depending on how you look at it is a good or a bad thing. Uh, and secondly, you have holdovers for bullet drop compensation, which I'm very, very fond of. You can also see the main ring around the outside. It's kinda like an EOTech. So you can quickly engage targets right up close, and then when you go to shoot your long range stuff, you have the BDC to uh, you know, dip out to that 400, 500, 600 yards relatively easily. So what do I think of the Vortex Strike Eagle 1 to 6? I think I like it a lot. I mean, you get Vortex's unconditional lifetime warranty, which means if you break this or it gets damaged somehow doing God knows what or whatever you could possibly do to a rifle scope, they'll either fix it or they'll send you out a new one for free. I mean, where are you gonna get that? I mean, Primary Arm sells one, but it's like a three month warranty or something like that. This is unconditional lifetime, which is nice. So you have 11 brightness settings, perfectly fine for any daytime shooting you're gonna do. Cap turrets, you don't have to worry about bumping them. It's fog proof, weighs like 17 ounces. What else could you ask for? I don't know about you though, I'm done talking, it's time for me to start shooting. <laughs>